kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Come back and say that again. <laughs> How's she going today, guys? Well, we're back with the uh, 675020 project here. Uh, done quite a bit to it since I last videoed because we were just kind of giving her shit there last night. But uh, we split it because we thought we were going to need to go into the uh, transmission to fix the PTO. But it turned out to just be an issue with the... Uh, PTO disconnect in the cab you can uh, disengage everything for the PTO in the back to make it easier to start when it's cold ah uh, and that had been turned and since I've never touched that on any of our tractors in all my life and nor has dad it never even crossed our mind to look at that and it turns out that it was actually turned so the tractor that was bought with PTO issues actually didn't have issues at all wow. <laughs> So out. far, we'll find out when we put it on a bale shredder and make it work a bit, but Anyway, so Dad just finished making uh, a hole in the water jacket. No, nope. or not the water jacket in the thermostat housing <laughs> For circulating heater So you have a hope of starting the tractor when it's cold out uh, I mean quite a few people have asked me how we put them on here <clears throat> so dad drilled a hole here and tapped it out with a fine thread because we don't have a pipe thread tap <laughs> and then put the uh, fitting in I'll show you over here and then on this side in the block we just take the uh, drain cock out and put a threaded hose barb in and then you put your heater in between there and then you can circulate coolant through the system and warm it up since there's no frost plugs on these to be able to put a block heater and uh i don't know and no nipple or no nipples or there's nothing put a, circulating heater well to put a no plugs to put a nipple into anywhere in the head anywhere on them nothing so this is what have we got to do instead on them drill a hole here on that uh other 5020 that's the big project outside not the new one but the one that came with this one <laughs> someone in all their infinite wisdom drilled a hole in the fucking head and put a nipple like that on it that's pretty risky at least this if you screw up all you got to do is replace that little piece not the whole damn head so <laughs> anyway throw the 50 20 away i guess so that's what they wanted to do with the other one that had the transmission issues there just throw it away so <laughs> Anyway, so after we put it back together this morning, we fired it up and uh, turned the PTO on. It spun like a son of a bitch, so she's fixed, I guess, for now, hopefully, till we put a load on it and it's damn phone. Anyway, we're going to finish uh, buttoning that up. Dad plumbed in the heater over here while I was away in town getting more parts. 20 is doing have enough jam to slip a PTO clutch anyway. Whatever you say, Mr. 4020. <laughs> have you ever had to replace a PTO clutch on a 5010 or 5020? No. There? Because they're built well Prove me and wrong. tough. Prove me wrong. You had to change them in the 4020? Yes. Because they're poorly built and too light. <laughs> anyway, talk to you again in a few when Dad's done beating his hose. <laughs> well, it's the next day. Um, I just took the grill out of the old girl because the corner here was all busted apart and broke on it. Um, so it's making and letting the grill wobble and weeble back and forth, obviously. So I'm going to take the MIG and stick that back together, and then she'll be. Not quite so wibbly wobbly that way. Um, 
kind of a pain in the ass to take off. It's held on with, uh, what is there now? Six little screws like this. I can get it out. Just these coarse thread little screws all the way along here. Um, I went and dropped one down into the abyss. That ain't coming back. <laughs> so I uh, just used a self-tapping screw. Good enough. I'm going to clean up all of this junk in here. And uh, then I, I used a piece of tape after I lost that one. I put a piece of tape on the head and then stick the socket. And it held quite a bit better. So, But yeah, anyway. Um, Dad rewired the alternator. And this tractor doesn't have a key or anything in it. It was just using the push button to start it and then you kill it with the throttle. Um, so he put a toggle switch on the dash there. And that uh, is what excites. Because the uh, alternator needs to be on a switch to power, right? So, oops, sorry. Instead of having a key, you flick your, your alternator on and start it with the button. A little bit cheaper and easier than wiring up a uh, key in there for him for no real reason. Ah, uh, and then got this valve fixed, or whatever you want to call it, the spool on the back here. As if you recall, they had uh, two of those real ugly Pioneer couplers on here, and they had just undone and turned that. I think it's because he wanted one side with Pioneer instead of having, I don't know, adapters, I guess, from John Deere to a Pioneer. <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing wrong with it, so we just cleaned it up, put it back together, and now that's what's going to supply the uh, loader. And we put uh, some bands on the roof to hold the headliner up because the glue wasn't doing the trick. So it's got nowhere to go now. And uh, I had to run ground wires to a common ground from each set of lights. Um, I tried just grounding the fenders, but I mean, so much rust and shit and crud in between. I wasn't getting the ground at my lights, so I just ran a wire. Makes it that much more simple that way. And, uh, yeah, there's a circuit heater on now, but I also had to fix this pipe here. We could, didn't see that till we took the hood off either. It was uh, cracked wide open. Not much point of an air filter if you're just drawing all the shit in right there. <laughs> and changed out that rubber line because that was hooped. Other than that... Just about time to uh, throw the hood on, take it out, test it on the uh, bale shredder probably tomorrow here. But anyway, I'm going to get that welded up. We'll bring you back in a few. Well, got that bubble gummed back together. Fuck, that's brutal to try to weld. That. Oh, I should have done that too. Dag nabbit, didn't notice that was broke. Oh well, the hood will hold that in place when it's back on. But that mesh, that is terrible stuff to try to weld. But anyway, grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. So <laughs> anyway, I think it'll hold. I only lost uh, two of the screws there. So I put self tappers, like I said. But there, a lot more uh, solid than what it was. Probably be a lot more solid yet if that was solid. I might put a tin screw. No, then the hood will hit. Cunt! Well, whatever. It'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, I guess. Continue on. We'll talk to you again here in a couple of minutes again. <laughs> there. Couldn't help myself. That'll be a little bit more, a little more rigid. I didn't want to have to fucking take that off for the 15th time and go and weld it. Because uh, in the meantime there, well, not. I welded it once had it on here before I painted it and I went and wiggled it to see how it felt and it broke so obviously it wasn't welded very well so this would be the fourth time I took it off I took it off to do that again anyway talked in a few for a sled ride this morning.
What do you girls think? Hey? spinning so you don't go and burn the brake off if it is you know dragging like that which it obviously is because it's almost stops but not quite hey eh? so anyway dad's just gonna carry a bale up for us with the uh, McCormick and I'll pick her up and shred it then so talk to you in a few minutes here guess I better not drop that in there yet because we'll have straw all over Helen gone <laughs> Gear shift needs to get broke in. They broke it off and welded it. Makes things a little bit tight, but ah well.
need it, but with the wind, it's not working worth a fuck in that other pen, so piss on it. We'll just get rid of it here. another day in the bag I guess um just went and opened up the bales with the 835 and the blade had a live stream there if you missed it go check her out but I think it's time for supper now um yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, thanks for watching, all that kind of fun stuff. And yeah, talk to you guys in the next one, I guess. <laughs>